Hi, hello there guys, it's me again Maria and today's tutorial, I'm going to, I will be showing you guys how you can use the magic effects in Canva like what you see in here. So without any further ado, let's jump into my computer and I'll show you how to do this. On Google and uh, uh, what you're going to do is uh, go to Canva and like in there. So if you don't have any account yet, uh, they're in Canva. All you have to do is just to go to Canva and create an account. So it's free, it's easy, and you can just go there and create an account. And once you have that account, now you can log in. So uh, well, once you log in, you will see here the Canva, and it's uh, you can create a design. So what will you design? So it's gonna ask you here. So here, you can. Uh, click the presentations can click a social media so they have uh, they have different kinds of sizes depends on the platform so if you're going to create a presentation on social media they have a uh, Facebook and Instagram and more so if you want to get uh, create a video you can just click the video and lots of more here but in this tutorial uh, I'm going to use the presentation so you're going to click the presentation and here it will show you the different kinds of you know presentations that you want to do so 1920 by 1080 so you're gonna click this one and then it gives you a, a blank uh, template. So here you can uh, choose the templates that you want to use for your presentation. Uh, it depends on your niche, it depends on your content. Um, they give you a lot of choices here to choose from. So, and also you can also edit it, okay? You can just get this one, like for example, I get this one here, and it will uh, tell you uh, how many pages that you want to use for your presentation so here uh, this green collage party life uh, there have 11 pages in here so if you want to use all of these pages all you have to do is just to click this apply all pages and here you will see the 11 pages it's automatically uh, goes here at the bottom Okay, so now here on the pages of your template, you can also edit uh, this one. Like, for example, if you want to change something like uh, what I've been up to uh, on a weekend. So, on a weekend, so I just type this one and then that's it. All right, and then you can also... Um, you can also take this off if you don't want to this uh, kind of uh, you know over there you just delete it you know or you can just uh, put other uh, images that you want to add to your template by going into this uh, side you can upload your photos you can change the photos you can upload some uh, you can create a text here just click this one you can put uh, style if you want to so you can put elements just click on that and then there are some elements here that you can use to okay all you have to do is just to uh, you know to drag over here and then it will you know go back and I'm not going to do that so I'm just showing you guys that you can drag any images that you want into your presentation okay so once you've done with that you can uh, go to each pages so you want to change or do something but I already changed all of this 11 pages and I'll show you guys in a moment okay so once you've done with this once you're good with this and you already change all of your um, your templates all you have to do is just to go here to present or click these three dots to do your presentation so we're going to do is to present and record and since we're going to presentation so this is the the tool that we're going to use to record our presentation and like what I've told you guys you can also uh, use Facebook page Twitter uh, Instagram you can share your presentation into these other platforms okay so from this tutorial I'm gonna present and record so here it, it says that you go to recording studio so record yourself while talking over a presentation so that's what we're going to do so go to recording studio click that and it will show you the uh, setup of your camera and microphone so here uh, 
you're going to set up your camera whatever camera you are using it will uh, just click this uh, arrow button and then you can choose the camera you are using if you're using your computer or you're using other cameras just put it here so it will show you here or if you don't want to see your face or if you don't want to use the camera just leave it like this and then here at the bottom is your microphone so here they're going to make you uh, choices also of what kind of microphone you are using that make sure that you, you check or choose the microphone you are using so that uh, people can hear your presentation so once you've okay with that so you see here at the bottom since I'm talking so that means that my microphone is working okay so once you've done with that we're going to start the recording okay click this recording start the recording and it will gives you a countdown all right there you go so now we are now recording this presentation so as you see guys here on the red rectangle this is the only thing that your viewers can see so don't worry about this add notes to your design on your right side and at the bottom your the templates that you the 11 templates that you made here is at the bottom so don't worry about it because your viewers won't see it unless you you know you change it or you click it all right so let's go back here so this is my first template, a day in my life. And if you uh, turn on your camera, your face is going to pop up over here. Since my camera is off, so you won't see me here, but uh, your, your voice is, you know, they can hear you because you already set up your microphone. So here, if this is your content or whatever content you want to present, or if you are on a, um, teaching course or tutorial you can use these templates by you know clicking each of one of these pages so you can talk about it all right so now here on the right side it says add notes to your design so this means that you have 2000 words or letters I think that you can use these uh, notes for you to you know just write down what you want to talk about so you don't forget it like for example add notes to your design and then i will add like uh, i want to talk about canva effects all right or making effects okay i'm gonna type making effects and then what are the effects uh, that i wanted to show you so for example i want to show you the uh, um, the bubble effect so if i click the z the o on my keyboard that means is uh that means it's the the bubble okay so i i don't forget what letter is this to comes out with the bubble and uh, another thing is like okay i want to show the drum effect so i put the d and that means it's a drum effect so I'm going to put all the letters here on the right side so I don't forget what letter you know comes out if I want to have a bubble on my presentation if I want to use a drum on my presentation so I'm gonna put the letters here that I want to tell to my viewers what to click on their keyboards okay you can all you can use all of this or you can just use some of the effects depends on your um, presentation so it's just a little bit you know fun things like that especially when you're doing a a zoom meeting or meeting with your teams you know um, you can use this uh, these effects on uh, canva all right so once you've done with that you can also hear at on the on the top there is a pose if you click that pose it will post your presentation so you can resume it later or if you are doing your recording you can post and resume it uh, at the same time okay so once you've done with that and you want to resume your presentation just click this one and it will you know resume your presentation so once you've done with that once you uh, you know talk about all of these 11 uh, templates or pages that I had to this presentation okay so in this presentation I'm talking about all in my life so that's all for today Fox my last template and I'm going to talk about so that's all for today folks so once you've done all you have to do is to click this end recording when you click that okay so now your 
your recording, your presentation is uploading uh, on your computer. So just wait for a minute and then after that you will your recording link is ready so it will tell you uh, the link of the presentation that you just made so you can copy this link and share to your friends or share to your social media things like that and then you can save it and exit after that or you can download it most of the time I always download it because I want to have a, a original file of my recordings so my advice is um, to download all your recordings in case you know you need it some other time you have a copy of your recording and then you can also use the copy link once you download it and once you save it you, you always get your link anytime okay so I'm going to download this one and then now it's downloading you see here at the bottom it's downloading all right, so now next I'm going to show you guys how you can use those effects on your presentation. All right, guys, so now here we go. I'll show you the magic effect. So once you've done with your uh, presentation, so I downloaded the uh, 11 templates for this. You just click this present on the top or you can click this three dots over here and you can see the present, okay? So let's choose this standard and let's do the present. So now here you go where you can um, use your magic effects. Like for example, you're just starting from this, uh, your first template. If you want to, you know, have a little bit bubble for your presentation, all you have to do on your keyboard is to press the letter O. Okay, so once you press the letter O, the bubbles comes up right and then if you want to stop those bubbles all you have to do is just to press it back all right so now next guys uh, I'm gonna show you the uh, you will see here at the bottom there is a keyboard right you can use this one just present this one and here you go there are the magic shortcuts that you want to uh, use to your uh, presentation okay so let's go to the other slides okay these slides let's do some effects magic effects that you want it to use so we've, we've done the bubbles right so we also have the C effect just press the letter C on your keyboard and that's for letter C means confetti okay you can also do from top to the bottom or you can also do from bottom to the top so that's the letter C that you use for your confetti. So let's do the letter D, okay? D, when you press the D on your keyboard, the drum is... So if you want to uh, get rid of that, just press the letter D again on your keyboard and it will goes away. Okay, now let's do the blur. If you want to blur it, you don't want to let people to see what's what's the order or what's the, what's the thing that delivered today. You just click the letter B. Okay, so what's the letter B? On your, click that on your uh, press that on your keyboard. It's gonna be blur blurry. Okay, so if you want to put that back, just click the letter B again on your keyboard, and it will comes back. All right. So the next magic effects that we're gonna sh that I'm gonna show you guys is the look look what's gonna happen okay I'm gonna change my slides and this is the last magic effects that I want to show you guys look see it's cool right so if you <laughs> okay so that means quiet quiet so you all you have to do is Press the letter Q on your keyboard and that emojis comes out. So if you want that emojis goes away, just press the Q again and it will go away. Alright? So, once we've done with that, I think this is my last. No, not yet. Oh, I prepared chicken and salad for my lunch. And re remember, I did that for my presentation. And if you're done talking about that, and then you go to another page. Uh, me cooking for lunch is too much for me. So don't worry, I send it to everyone. All right, so next presentation, you know, you can just keep going until you finish your explanation or 
we want to talk more about it, it's all your control because you're the one, you know, changing it, uh, the uh, template. So that's all for today, folks. And fingers crossed, I'll be just as productive tomorrow. You can you can create as many as presentation as you want, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'll just make it short, guys, for you to see that you can use animation. You can animate your your presentation. You can do some magic effects. Right, so if you're doing some meetings like, like at Zoom, Zoom, or school, uh, you know, presentation or company presentation, or your own content that you're creating a video, you can use this slides presentation for your content. So save it into your computer, and then you can now. Uh, Take that video to your software editor. If you have an uh, editing software, you can, uh, you know, add music or background, or you can, you know, you can still uh, edit it or cut or whatever you wanted to do. You can still do that even though you're done in Canva. And then you can now upload your content or video on YouTube. All right, so. That's all for today, guys. I'm not going to let you wait until this download. Anyway, it's the same video. So I just want to share you guys that there are new features on Canva that you can use for your presentation like this um, magic effect features. <music>